Streaming from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 4 p.m. Digital Edition. Good afternoon and welcome to 22 News at 4. I'm Ciara Speller. We're going to get to your top four at four in just a moment. But first, a look at your commuter traffic and weather. We have 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Brian Lapis. And Brian, we're hearing the lightning and thundering happening right over our heads. Yeah, I got some storms moving across the valley. So far, these storms are at sub severe weather levels, but Nonetheless, all it takes is uh, one downpour to ca cause a flooded roadway and one lightning strike to really ruin your day. So now it's best to get inside and kind of ride these storms out for a little while. Let's take a look at traffic and we're starting to see some of the effects from the heavy rain, reduced visibility, possibly some puddling and ponding on roadways in particular 91 South. Uh, Northampton through East Hampton and parts of Holyoke that's running slow. We've also got some slow going in the usual spot 291 91 merge and on the pike so far so good. We had a car fire in Stockbridge on the pike earlier this afternoon. That's been cleared up and then to the east here the usual backups. It's Friday getaway day possibly to the Cape or other parts of eastern Massachusetts and um, Pike eastbound at the 84 merge is running very slow as well. Let's get to weather temperatures right now are in the 70s even some 60s with the downpours happening and a quick look at radar showing our next round of showers and thunderstorms moving through the valley as we speak and we're expecting the potential for these uh, storms to continue uh, through about eight nine o'clock tonight. So if you have outdoor plans, have an indoor alternative, we'll track better weather for tomorrow with our 22 News Storm Team forecast. Now for your top four at four, the U.S. Supreme Court today has overturned a federal ban on bump stocks. In a 6-3 ruling along ideological lines, the court held that an almost 100-year-old law aimed at banning machine guns cannot legitimately be interpreted to include the accessory. The ban was imposed during the Trump administration following the 2017 mass shooting in Las Vegas. And Russian President Vladimir Putin is offering a ceasefire to Ukraine in exchange for territory. Putin said today that Russia would enter peace talks if Ukraine dropped its NATO ambitions and withdrew its forces from four Ukrainian regions claimed by Moscow. Ukraine called the proposal absurd and said peace can only be based on a full withdrawal of Russian forces and the restoration of its territorial integrity. The Healy administration has distributed the remaining disaster relief funding provided by last December's supplemental budget. $5 million is being distributed to 13 communities across the state, including Chicopee and Springfield, in response to severe flooding last September. The funding comes following Governor Healy's appeal to President Biden to provide disaster aid and to affected communities. Game four of the NBA Finals is tonight, and by this time tomorrow, the Celtics could be NBA champions for the 18th time in franchise history. The Celtics lead the best of seven three games to none, looking to close out the series against the Mavericks. No team has ever lost in the NBA playoffs after winning the first three games. Tip-off is tonight at 8.30 in Dallas. All right, let's bring Brian Lapis back in for a check of the thunder and lightning that we have going on here in Western Massachusetts. Yeah, thunderstorms possible here through about 9 o'clock tonight uh, here at WWLP.com. You can check the radar. We'll also have uh, warnings as they come in if they happen. And the good news here is that tomorrow is a great day. So let's uh, kind of leapfrog over the thunder and lightning and show you what's happening here for tomorrow. Big bike rodeo happening at Ray Ash Park in Chicopee tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Plenty of sunshine for this event, 70 at uh, 10 o'clock, 76 at 1 o'clock. Uh, breeze out of the north here tomorrow. A couple of pride events to tell you about. Chicopee Pride happening tomorrow afternoon uh, and uh, early evening at Zock Park in Chicopee. 74 at noontime, 80 in sunshine at 4 o'clock. Again, low humidity, bright day, and also Franklin County Pride Parade happening. Uh, the parade uh, kind of wraps through downtown Greenfield, and then the festival happens at Energy Park in downtown Greenfield, and this runs from noon to 4 p.m. 12 o'clock, 74 degrees, 79 in sunshine at 3 o'clock. Father's Day is looking good as well. We'll track that uh, clearing trend with our 22 News Storm Team forecast on 22 News at 10 on the CW Springfield and 22 News at 11. 
Well, today, 22 News took part in Next Our Media Group's Founders Day of Caring to serve our community here in Western Massachusetts. We made sandwiches for those in need at Providence Ministries, Rachel's Table, and the Springfield Rescue Mission. Last year, 5,700 Next Our employees across the country volunteered more than 17,500 hours of services at 240 charitable organizations. Taylor Swift's record-breaking Eras Tour now has an end date. The nearly two-year-long international tour will wrap up on December 8th in Vancouver, British Columbia. The Eras Tour, which started in March of 2023, has spanned five continents. The tour has already become the first ever to gross $1 billion. And our evening news is preempted tonight for the U.S. Open, but here's a look at what we're working on for 22 News starting at 10 and 11. The Latino Economic Development Corporation is announcing their final round of grants for the year. How the money will help local Latino businesses in our area. Plus, the State House and the Co Commission on the Status of Women is celebrating the Commonwealth Heroines Class of 2024. And last month was the warmest May on record. How this compares around the world. Quick last check of traffic here. Heavy rain is limiting visibility and slowing things down, especially on I-91 between Northampton and Springfield, and especially for some reason, I-91 southbound. Also some slow going at the 291 merge with 91 in Springfield. Keep in mind, thunderstorms are possible here through about 8, 9 o'clock this evening. Radar updating on the 22 News app and at WWLP.com are updated forecasts there as well. And warnings will be on your mobile device and on WWLP.com as they happen, if they happen. We'll see you tonight on 22 News at 10 and 11. All right, Brian, thank you. And thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4. We're back tonight on air at 10 and 11 due to the U.S. Open Golf Championship on NBC. But you can get all your local news and weather updates anytime on WWLP.com and the 22 News mobile app.